Southernfield Day was inspired by a speech given by the Prince of Wales at the launch of the Campaign for War. A few members of the Savile Row Bespoke Association got together to organise an event that would be educational, inclusive and fun. We've been preparing for this uh, event for about, well, several months actually. To obviously close a, a street in the centre of London is not a, a task that's to be taken lightly. We got here about half ten and we had probably 12, 15 cars parked. Some of them went, some of them had to be towed away. We've got a crew of 15 guys on site. We've got to put a thousand metres of turf down. We've got to build uh, some sheet proof compounds which are, are quite involved in themselves. Our rustic barn has got to be all passed off for our wind loading and safety and basically get ready for 7 o'clock in the morning for the arrival of the stars of the show, really. The event today is a celebration of wool and fine tailoring. Uh, we have two pens of sheep, one for Exmoor Horn, which is a sheep that comes from the southwest of England near the Exeter area, and Beaumont sheep. The Beaumont sheep are particular because they resemble Merino sheep, Saxon Merino sheep, which is the sheep that comes from Australia. It's essential for the sheep's welfare that they feel comfortable because they're not in their natural environment here, so to keep them with their known minders is very important. We are here to support the farmers, to support the wool growers who are not in the limelight like we are sometimes and we underestimate the amount of work that they put into bringing the wool into the market to produce the finest fabrics in the world. We um, are keen to make sure that we profile the natural, biodegradable, sustainable uh, elements of uh, merino wool and the unique properties that it has uh, which are intrinsic in all these garments uh, uh, here on offer today. This is an interesting way of uh, profiling the product in the stores and um, bridging the conduit between where the uh, fibre comes from and, uh, and how it performs in garments. We're using the, the Exmoor horn for a, a range of jacketings. We're blending it with merino wool so we can make a fine um, country suit weight, similar to, to what I'm wearing now. We're using 10% um, Exmoor horn and 90% merino. At the end of the street we have um, a shed which talks you through wool processing. It shows you fleece, it shows you how fleece is washed and scoured, it shows you how fleece is turned into top, top is turned into yarn and yarn is woven into fabric. And on, the, and on the row here there are probably 150 people cutting that fabric into bespoke suits. Wool is especially relevant today as it answers key questions for the informed customer, such as what is the garment made of, where was it made, and who made it. But in addition, wool provides a, a counterbalance to this era of fast fashion. It holds its shape and colour, it's beautiful to fashion and tailor, and wonderful to wear. Also, it lasts well. It's very strong, very resistant, breathes well, and we encourage consumers to wear wool and they will then understand how incredible it is compared to man-made fibers and other fibers as well. Well here at Anson and Shepherd will continue to work with the great British mills and it's fantastic to see wool getting the recognition it deserves. <laughs>